I'm Rishma and you're watching my channel G Tutorial. Today's class is on HCF and LCM. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel for getting more RRB J related videos. Now let us get to your portions. First, let us see what is HCF. HCF is highest common factor. It's a number which divides each of the given numbers exactly. That is, if you are asked to find the HCF of 18 and 24, the number, the greatest number which divides these two numbers exactly. What is the HCF of these two numbers? So, in order to find the greatest number that divides both 18 and 24, let us factorize them. 18 is 1 into 2 into 3 into 3. 24 is 2 into 3 into 4. So, the highest factor is, in both cases, the factor is 2. Again, 3 is also present in both of these numbers. So, 2 into 3 is the highest common factor which divides 18 and 24. 23 is 6. So, HCF of 18 and 24 is 6. Next is LCM or least common multiple. It is the least number which is exactly divisible by each one of the given numbers. So, if you are asked to find the LCM of 24, 45 and 60, then it is the number, least number which divides 24, 45 and 60. So, let us find. We are using the division method to find the LCM. 24, 45 and 60. We are, multi we are dividing this by a number, by a prime number which divides any of these two numbers. So, let us start with 2. 2 is a prime number. Next prime number is 3. Then 5, 7. 11 and so on. So first let us divide this by 2. Since 24 and 60 is divisible by 2. So 2 12s are. We cannot divide 45 by 2. So we are writing it as such. Then 2 into 30 is 60. Again we are performing division by 2. 2 into 6. And 2 into 15. Again division by 2 is not possible. Because only 6 can be divided by 2. So let us divide these two numbers. Both of these numbers are divisible by 3 or 5. Let us divide by 5. So, 5 into 9 is 45 and 5 into 3 is 50. Again, division by 3. 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9 and 3 into 1. Again, division is pos not possible because uh, 2 is the prime number which cannot be divided by any other prime numbers. 3 is also a prime number which cannot not be divided. So, this much is enough. Multiplication gives the value of LCM. 2 into 2 is 4. 4 5 are 20. 20 into 3 2 are 6. 6 3 are 18. So, 18 2 are 360 is the LCM of these three numbers. LCM of 24, 45 and 60 is 360. Again, if you are asked to find the LCM of 6, 12 and 48, it is not required to do this long process. You just have to check whether the largest number is divisible by the other two numbers. If largest number is a multiple of the other two numbers, then that largest number itself is LCM. So here the LCM is 48. Since 48 is divisible by 12 and 6. So 48 is the LCM in this case. Now let us check some important points concerned with HCF and LCM. First point, product of two numbers is equal to the product of their LCM and HCF. Next is, two numbers are said to be co-prime if their HCF is 1. That is, the numbers 2 and 7 are co-prime because there is no common factor between 2 and 7. Uh, it is not necessary that each of these numbers may be prime. Another example is 9 and 6. You are clear. 9 is not prime number, 16 is no prime number. But 9 and 16 are co-prime because a common factor that exists between 9 and 16 is just 1. Next is LCM of fractions. LCM of fractions. If a fraction is given like A by B, C by D, E by B. Then we are asked to find the LCM of these three fractions. Then it is equal to the LCM of numerator. That is LCM of A, C and E divided by HCF of denominator. HCF of B, D, F. Similarly, if you are asked to find the HCF of fractions, then it is equal to HCF of the numerator by LCM of denominator. 
Now let us do some problems from LCM and HCF. This is the first question. Find the least number which is divisible by 12, 14, 16 and having common remainder as 5. Here we are asked to find the least number which is divisible by 12, 14 and 16. And having a common remainder 5. The least number that divides 12, 14, 16 etc. is its LCM. But we should get a remainder as 5. First let us get a number which exactly divides 12, 14 and 16. So that is its LCM. We can find its LCM of 12, 14 and 16. We are dividing it by 2. Again division by 2. Again it is not possible to divide by any number. So the product of this gives the LCM. We obtain the LCM as 336. 336 is the number that divides 12 completely. That is we will get remainder 0 when we are dividing it by 12 or 14 or 16. But in this case we have to find the number which gives a common remainder 5. That is 336 plus 5 is the number that is it is equal to 341. 341 is the number which on dividing by 12 or 14 or 16 gives a remainder as 5. So this is the answer to the above problem. Next question. This is the next question. Find the least number divisible by 12, 15, 18 and having remainder 8, 11 and 14. Here we are asked to find the number, find the least number that is divisible by 12. And on division by 12 it leaves a remainder 8. And then that number when divided by 15 leaves a remainder 11. When divided by 18 leaves a remainder 14. So find such a number. So in this case, first thing we have to find is, we have to find a common difference. We are asked to divide a number, a least number by 12, 15, 18 in order to get remainders as 8, 11 and 14. So in each case, let us find the common difference. 12 minus 8 is 4. 15 minus 11 is again 4. 18 minus 14 is 4. So this is a common difference. Next, we have to find a number which on division by these leaves remainder as this. So LCM of 12, 15 and 18 is the number which divides these numbers to give remainder 8, 11, 14 etc. So let us find the LCM of 12, 15 and 18. It is, it is 180. So the least number that divides this is given by the number required number is equal to the LCM of the number minus common difference. LCM is 180. 180 minus common difference is 4. So 176 is a number. Which when divided by 12 leaves 8 as remainder. When divided by 15 leaves 11 as remainder. And when divided by 18 leaves 14 as remainder. Next question. This is the next question. Find the greatest triple digit number which is divisible by 3, 5 and 15. So we are asked to find the greatest triple digit number which is divisible by 3 of these numbers, 3, 5 and 15. So let us find the greatest triple digit number. The greatest triple digit number is 999 because 1000 is a 4 digit number. So the number just before that is the greatest triple digit number. But this is not the exact answer. We have to find the greatest triple digit number which is divisible by these 3 numbers. That is you should obtain remainder of 0 when division by 3, 5 or 15. Okay, if a number is divisible by 3, 5 and 15, then it should also be divisible by its LCM. So, let us find the LCM. LCM of 3, 5 and 15. We have to perform division method, but in this case, we do, don't have to go for that because the greatest number, 15. 15 is divisible by both 5 and 3. So, here the LCM is the 15 itself. So, 15 is the LCM. Next, we have to find the number. So, let us divide the greatest triple digit number, that is 999 by 15. 15 to 6 is 90. Remainder is 9, 99. Again, it goes 6 times. So, 90. Remainder is 9. So, 999 minus 9. Which is 990. This is the number which is exactly divisible by itself. 50. 990 by 15 is 0. So, this is the greatest triple digit number which is divisible by 3, 5 and 15. 
the procedure we have to adopt is we have to take the greatest given number, triple digit number, 999. Now we have to find the LCM of the numbers. Perform division. We will get a remainder. We have to subtract the remainder from the greatest number. It gives the greatest triple digit number divisible by these three numbers. Okay, we can check the next question. This is the next question. Find the least 4 digit number which is divisible by 6, 8, 24 and 48. We are asked to find the least 4 digit number. Smallest 4 digit number which is divisible by 6, 8, 24 and 48. Least 4 digit number is 1000. So a number least 4 digit number which is divisible by these 4. A number divisible by these 4 is also divisible by its LCM. LCM of 6, 8, 24 and 48. First we have to check the greatest number is where, where the divisible by the other 3 numbers. Here 48 is divisible by 24, 48 is divisible by 8, 48 is also divisible by 6. So LCM is just 48. Next is we have to divide 1000 by this LCM. If it is exactly divisible then 1000 is the answer of this question. If it is not divisible we will get a remainder and then we have to find the that number which is divisible by 48. So 48 into 2 is 96. Remainder is 4, 40. In 40 it does not go, so 20. So remainder is 40. So in the earlier case we have subtracted 1000 minus 40 is a factor, is a number which is exactly divisible by 48. But in this case if we are uh, subtracting 1000 minus 40 we will get a 3 digit number. But we are asked to find the least 4 digit number. So, the next multiple of 48 is the correct answer. We will get a 4 digit number. So, 1000 minus 40 gives a multiple of 48. Next multiple is plus 48. So, the answer is 1008. That is, we have to the number. The, uh, if you are asked 4 digit number, the least 4 digit number. So, the number minus remainder plus LCM gives the answer in this case. In earlier case number minus LCM gives the correct answer. But here number minus remainder plus LCM gives the correct answer. Earlier case just number minus remainder gives the answer. But here we have to perform plus LCM. That is the next multiple of 48 gives the correct answer. Next question. This is the next question. Find the HCF of 3 raised to 8, 3 raised to 5, 3 raised to 9, 3 raised to 14. HCF is the highest common factor. So 3 raised to 8 can be expressed as 3 raised to from this uh, the least one is 3 raised to 5. So 3 raised to 5 plus 3. 8 can be expressed as 5 plus 3. So 3 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 3. Next 3 raised to 5. That is 3 raised to 5 into 1. Next case 3 raised to 9. It is 3 raised to 5 plus 4. That is 3 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 4. Next is 3 raised to 14. 3 raised to 5 plus 9. So 3 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 9. Here the common factor among this is 3 raised to so the highest common factor in this case is 3 raised to 5. This is the answer of this question. Next question. This is the next question. Find out the LCM of 4 raised to 5, 4 raised to minus 81, 4 raised to 12, 4 raised to 7. So the LCM of this is the largest number. LCM means least common multiple. It is the largest number which is if the largest number is divisible by other numbers, then it gives the LCM. I have said it before. If 3, 5, 15. And if 15 is divisible by 5 and 3, then 15 is LCM. Otherwise, we have to go for division method. In this case, 4 raised to 12 is the largest number. 4 raised to minus 81 is not the largest number because 4 raised to minus 81 is 1 by 4 raised to 81. So here the largest number is 4 raised to 12. So this is the answer. 4 raised to 12 is divisible. Uh, 4 raised to 5 is divisible by 4 raised to 12. 4 raised to minus 81 can also 4 raised to 12 can also divide 4 raised to minus 81. Similarly, 4 raised to 7 can also be divided by 4 raised to 12. So answer is 4 raised to 12. 
or in another way you can understand this by if we are asked to find the uh, LCM of 24, 45, 60 then what we are doing is we, we can go for long division method or we can factorize this 24 is 8 into 3 8 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 45 is 15 into 3 so 3 into 3 into 5 this is 45 60 is 12 into 5 so 60 is 2 into 2 into 3 is 12 into 5 12 into 5 is 60 okay we can factorize each of them as this we can express this as 2 raised to 3 into 3 this as 3 square into 5 this is 2 square into 3 into 5 then the LCM is given by here the largest factor of 2 is 2 raised to 3 so LCM is 2 raised to 3 into again 3 is highest factor is 3 square 3 square into 5 highest factor is 5 itself. so 5 this is that 2 cube is 8 8 into 3 square is 9 into 5 8 times so 72 into 5 which is 360 360 is the LCM in this case similarly here 4 raised to 5 4 raised to minus 81 which is 1 by 4 raised to 81 4 raised to 12 4 raised to 7 here the largest number is 4 raised to 12. It can be divided by other numbers. So, 4 raised to 12 is the correct answer. It is the LCM of the other. 4, 6. Okay, next question. This is the next question. In a morning walk, 3 persons step off together. Their steps measures 80 cm, 85 cm and 90 cm respectively. What is the minimum distance each should walk so that all can cover the same distance in complete steps? The first man's each step is first man's step is 80 cm. Second man's cover, first step is 85 cm. Third man's step is 90 cm. They are walking so that they cover a distance. Some distance. We are asked to find the minimum distance that each should walk so that they can cover the same distance in complete steps. So he should walk some distance, he should walk some distance and he should walk. All are traveling equal distance. We are asked to find that distance that they cover by their footsteps. Okay. It is just the LCM of these three. 80, 85 and 90. LCM of 80, 85 and 90 is we have divided by 5, then again, then with 2, etc. We will get LCM as 1, 2, 2, 4, 0. So, the minimum distance that each should walk to cover same distance with the footsteps 90 cm, 85 cm, 80 cm plus the LCM. That is 1, 2, 2, 4, 0 cm. Next question. This is the next question. Five bells first begin to toll together and then at intervals 3, 5, 7, 8 and 10 seconds. Five after what interval they will again toll together and also how many times does they toll together in an hour. Here we are asked to find uh, after how many, how what interval they will toll together again. First five bells are tolling together. Then they started tolling. At first bell started tolling at after three seconds. Second bell after five seconds. Third bell seven seconds. Eight, ten, and so on. And after uh, on an interval of ten, they all started to toll together. Then again, uh, they started in their respective intervals. So here we are asked. First we are asked to find find the uh, time interval after which they toll together. Then the second thing, in an hour, how many times they told together. So, first uh, question can be solved by finding their LCM. After their LCM, that much seconds, they told together. So, LCM of 3, 5, 7, 8, 10 is obtained as 840, 840 seconds. 840 seconds is 
840 divided by 60. That is 14 minutes. After 14 minutes, first question's answer is 14 minutes. After 14 minutes, this bell together rang or together tone after 14 minutes. Then the second question is, after how uh, how many times does they tone together in an hour? In an hour. In an hour means one hour. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. 60 minutes. In 60 minutes, how many times they tone together? So 60 divided by, they tone at intervals 14 minutes. So 60 by 14, which is equal to 4 point something. 14 into 4 is 56. So 4 times they told in an hour. So we are asked to find in an hour how many times they told. They told. Once they told at interval, 0 th interval they started tolling. They begin to tell together. And then at interval. So 1 plus this 4. That is in an hour 5 times they told together. So the answer is 5 times. Okay, next question. This is the next question. The smallest fraction which each of 6 by 7, 5 by 14 and 10 by 21 will divide exactly is. So we are asked to find the smallest fraction which divide each of these fractions exactly. That is actually the LCM of these three divides these three numbers exactly. So LCM of fraction 6 by 7, 5 by 14 and 10 by 21. LCM of this fraction is actually the LCM of numerator 6, 5, 10 by with CF of denominator 7, 14, 21. LCM of 6, 5, 10 is 5. 5 1s are 5 2s are 2. 2 3s are so 3 2 6 5s are 30 is the LCM. So 30 divided by HCF is the highest factor which divides these three. Highest factor is 7. So 30 by 7 is the LCM of these fractions. 30 by 7 divides these three numbers exactly. So 30 by 7 is the answer. Next question. This is the next question. The largest number which divides 25, 73 and 97 to leave the same remainder in each case. So we have to find a number which divides these three numbers exactly and leaves a remainder 1. So we have to find the HCF of the three numbers. But the, uh, uh, we have to obtain remainder, same remainder also. The method we are adopting here is first we have to subtract the 73 minus 25. Second number is 97 minus 73. Third number is 97 minus the first number 25. So, 73 minus 25 is 48. This is 24 and this is 72. So, the HCF of this, this gives the number which when divided by these three give, uh, leaves the same limit. HCF of this is the highest common factor. 24 into 2 is 48, 24 into 3 is 72. So, 24 is the HCF, HCF of these three numbers. So, 24 is the answer. When 24 is divided by 25, it leaves remainder 1. Here also, when divided by 73, it leaves 1 as remainder. When divided by 97 also, it leaves 1 as remainder. So, 24 is the number which when divided by these 3, leaves remainder in each case. What you have to do is, first, first 25 is expressed as 73 minus 25. Next number 73 is 97 minus 73. Then, 97 minus 25. So, you will get 3 numbers. The HC of this number is a number which when divided by that leaves the same limit. So, now we have covered many problems from HCF and LCM. Uh, you can practice more and more questions in order to understand this concept very clearly. If you are having any doubt, you can comment below. Please uh, make your suggestions. Thank you.